For too long, acoustic guitar players have been thought of as second-class citizens. And you know how I know that? Because remember a lot of acoustic guitars didn't have like strap pins? They had one strap pin and the other strap you'd put around like your tuners, like some kind of like tuning goblin. That's how I know. But today we're, te we're checking out uh, the new Fishman AFX pedals because the majority of my gigging career has been as an acoustic guitar player. And I never brought pedals with just because I just hated having to bring extra stuff. And I also could never get it to sound right. So Fishman has sent over these pedals. And basically they're meant specifically for acoustic guitar to not change the signal of your tone, but to kind of blend in alongside the tone of your guitar so it doesn't really, you know, make it sound kind of whack how if you just plug an acoustic guitar in through an electric guitar pedal board or something like that. Best part about this is the size. This is on one of those uh, pedal train nano boards, which is fantastic. It's daisy chain power, and we've got four pedals, and I'm gonna just kind of do a quick run through of all of them, and maybe you're interested in a couple and or all of them. I'm running through the Fishman Loudbox Artist. This is my favorite acoustic gigging amp I've ever played because the two inputs are perfect. Uh, I'm actually not using a lot of the features on the Loudbox Artist today just because I want you to hear the pedal board mostly, so I'm just going clean out of the Loudbox, right? So uh, let's, let's talk about what we got here. We've got basically an EQ pedal, a looper, a reverb, and an ABY switcher pedal, okay? Now you can configure these in a lot of different ways. First of all, let's just talk about the EQ, okay? So this is just flat going into the amp. This is what the guitar pickup sounds like. way I have it set up. A, a much fuller sound and uh, again coming as someone who has a lot of experience gigging with acoustic guitars this is really cool because the sliders here have a low cut which sometimes if you get a lot of feedback uh, through your PA you can just it's a thing with the room kind of collecting low energy so Low cut filter, then your typical three band EQ, bass, middle, treble, and then brilliance. So especially if I'm doing like a loop thing, a lot of times I want to, to maybe dial the mids back and then just bring the bass up, specifically for finger picking stuff, right? So like, let's say here it is without it. And then as soon as I bring it in, Especially, I you know the I don't really ne necessarily have my mids cut so much as I have my lows and highs boosted a little bit, and then the last one is a brilliance thing. Uh, it just kind of adds such a fuller sound. If you're in a mix with a bunch of different instruments, you might want to EQ it a little bit differently. But I just think this makes the guitar sound the best. All right, we're gonna skip the looper pedal right now and talk about this one right here. This is a reverb pedal. So here's dry. So good right now. Oh. So basically, they have uh, a level, decay time, tone, and then there's a switch here with uh, a toggle switch with three different types of reverbs. So, real quick, let's just hear the three. This is uh, the far side, right? So, this is the plate reverb. And then in the middle, we have the hall. And then spring. And then if I'd really kind of bring it up. Dripping wet. But again, you know, I, I really think I've grown to love plate a lot, uh, and I just kind of have a tasteful amount. It's definitely there you know, but it's tasteful. Now, I've always said the most important pedal that you can get is a looper pedal, no matter if you're an electric player, if you're an acoustic player, anything like that. And as far as one button looper goes, this is a really cool setup, okay? Now, there's still a switch here. This is a level, you know, just a volume level. And then the switch is looper or sampler. So depending on what kind of show you may be doing, you might just want like a one-shot sampler. Basically, you can take a USB and plug it in 
on the back of the pedal there and load a sample into it and then you just hit the button and then it plays like a one shot sample so if you're using like a backing track you can use it to trigger just like a one time backing track on and off i'm more of a, a salt of the earth kind of guy so what i'll do is i'll just make like a loop or something and uh, i want to do this in conjunction with the eq so i'm going to make the loop without the eq on there right maybe just kind of like uh so watch how it works i'll, I'll start and stop it with just another practice, right? And again, because the level is set full, you're not gonna hear the next track with single notes unless you use the EQ. kind of works then I can double tap to stop it so in this iteration I'm essentially using the EQ pedal almost as like a boost for what I'm doing and then you press and hold and then it'll delete the loop for whatever you want to do right you can also overdub on it for example I'll keep the uh, I'll keep the EQ pedal on right now just because I'll do something uh, like this will be like I've got that. Uh, I could just be kind of messing around, playing over it, and it's not going to add anything to it. Or if I want to add another thing, I can open the loop up, right? Essentially, you can use the press and hold feature to almost organize parts where maybe you have a layered part and then I, I really like how this is set up as far as the one button looper goes because you can bring things in and out using the press and hold feature or just use the press and hold feature to delete it. Now after you double tap and stop it and then you hold it again and then it'll play for a second and then you'll see the red light kind of go and then and then there it is. There's just it just deletes the whole thing so super cool. Now, the last pedal in the chain here is going to be a swishing pedal, okay? Now, right now, it's at the end of the chain. It goes right to left, right, in and out. And again, these are actually kind of like stereo in and outs, tip ring sleeve in and outs, and they provided these cool patch cables that can carry dual signals through the entire path. Now, I have this just going as a dual out thing. Like, one of them is going out to the amp, and the other one is going out to my interface so I can get like a clean signal aside from just like the uh the mic i'm using to record the vocals and the guitar there's a lot of interesting things you can do with this actually because for instance you could put this in front of your chain and let's say you have maybe two instruments like if you have like a bass guitar and a guitar you can switch back and forth between the input that it sends into the first part of your chain right so these are really great to have as a utility i'll do like another video on maybe some creative ways to use this pedal later uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on how you want to see that video made but right now i'm just using it kind of as a way to feed two outputs but also you can kind of just click it on and off and then choose how you want to route and stuff like it trust me there's you would be shocked at how often a pedal like this comes in handy just as like a problem solver like a utility problem solver 
But especially if you are doing some kind of like live performance looping thing, it's cool to maybe have like a couple different inputs going through the chain that you can kind of switch back and forth between, right? So these pedals are really actually pretty inexpensive uh, in the grand scheme of things. And like I said, I also have a Fishman uh, power supply that is just daisy chained all these together. So the whole thing is actually super, super small and compact because I never liked gigging with pedals just because I wanted to bring the guitar, the PA, the mic stands and stuff, and that was it. Had I had one of these when I was doing all my acoustic gigging back in the day, I 100% would have brought this just because it's so like small and compact. And that's, that's actually the most, that was the most important thing for me as a performer to think about just because like I, you don't want to add a bunch of setup and tear down time. So awesome, super cool little pedal setup here. Thank you to Fishman for sending it over. I'll have affiliate links in the description for any of the stuff if you have questions about it. But uh, I'll just maybe do a, another little loop here. Let's put it on a different reverb setting. Let's go, let's go uh, spring reverb for something. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just play it out. So thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank <laughs> you.